what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and as you can tell i'm at my bedroom <laughs> i'm at my grandparents until christmas eve and then i'm going to my mum's and then on the 29th i'm coming back to my grandparents before i do anything in this video we've got to do many ducky of the days ducky of the day we've got a ducky and a scarf and it's time for Ducky of the Day. The 16th. We got a unicorn! So today we're travelling to my grandparents. But of course, the first thing I want to do after having my medication is opening Ducky of the Day. Hey! We got Rudolph. So we've had Ducky of the Day. Today I'm gonna do an update because I haven't done one in a while. I think last time I did one was in November. An update. I had my first physio appointment. I was given two exercises to do. So I've been doing them. And I've got an appointment with physio on the 9th of January in their gym to try and strengthen my knee back a lot because it's lost a lot. It's very weak compared to my knee and it hurts a lot to do stuff with it. That's why I'm home alone at the minute because my grandparents took the doggies for a walk. Insert pictures of doggies. I've been taking lots of pictures of dogs. I like dogs. I also like dogs. And my mental health wise, I'm doing okay. My clonazepam dose is once a day now so that's hard because my anxiety keeps going out of control and i'm not on any other medication to manage my anxiety i do have prn lorazepam but i don't use it very often because i have to ask permission to use it and i don't like going up and down three flights of stairs i've been having migraines every day recently which has been hell i've been taking ibuprofen because i can't take paracetamol because i'm allergic to paracetamol because of all the overdoses i took on it i literally can't stomach it i, I tried to take it when i was in hospital and i threw up it's just, it's just I just can't stomach it anymore which sucks because headaches and migraines my migraines are both visual and pain so I'm unfortunate there traveling up to Telford from London was a nightmare I missed the first train by a minute one fucking minute two second train got cancelled third train I got to go to Wolverhampton and then my grandparents picked me up in Wolverhampton and drove me back to Telford so thank you grandparents I love you I love you anyway but I love you for picking me up all in all, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not in crisis. I'm not anywhere near being in crisis. I'm spending time with my family and just all in all doing pretty well. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to giving gifts on Christmas Day. I've put a lot of thought into all of them and I really hope that I've got the doggies toys for Christmas. My mum's doggies and my grandparents' doggies because my grandparents come to my mum's on Christmas Day. Christmas is about family and friends. Now I'm someone who has one friend. Yeah. I'm not a social butterfly. I don't socialise. I wish Australia was closer. <laughs> then I could go see Alana. So I guess that's kind of it for a, vo a voiceover. What the fuck am I on about? I think that's all I've got for this video. If you want to support the channel, you can join my Patreon. That will be linked up there. No, there, sorry. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.